Today we are talking about oil filter crushers. So here's a generic example of what an oil filter crusher looks like. Uh, this is one that I designed recently in AutoCAD. And here's another uh, drawing that I designed a few years back. Um, but basically you can see the major components of a hydroelectric oil filter crusher is they consist of a hydraulic cylinder on top and that bolts to the body of the oil filter crusher and you have an on and off power switch um, you have some sort of door latch the heavy duty hinge door and a hydro a hydraulic power pack and the voltage will vary depending on what power pack you purchase uh, or what power you have available in your facility uh, but basically it's a hydraulic pump that provides hydraulic pressure to the hydraulic cylinder to crush the oil filters inside the unit and the ones I designed were designed for um, off-highway um, heavy equipment like Caterpillar, uh, tractors, Komatsu, Hitachi, Volvo, etc. The really big uh, large diameter, tall um, hydraulic oil filters, engine oil filters, etc. And the one I built made a, the frame out of square tubing, C channel, and flat bar. There's also a safety switch on the door so the unit will not operate unless the door is closed and latched. There's also a drain at the bottom of the unit so as you crush the oil filters, the oil that's squeezed out flows out of the drain and into a catch bucket beneath the oil filter crusher and for safety it's bolted to the floor with concrete anchors. So again here's the one that I built. Uh, you can see there's a on the left hand side you can clearly see the the uh, hydraulic cylinder on the top of the unit with the hydraulic hoses and uh, there's a hydraulic pump and motor and a big black hydraulic reservoir that holds the hydraulic fluid. Right hand picture, you can see the front of the unit with the door latch, the on off switch. Uh, you can see the control, uh, the hydraulic control valve, it's a lever, and the bucket underneath to capture any uh, drained oil that gets squeezed out when the oil filters are crushed. And so here's a before and after picture uh, same oil filter, same model of oil filter. Um, you can see how tall it is before, and it pancakes it down to a very small size. Uh, the great advantage here is you can fit um, more oil filters, crushed oil filters, in a 55-gallon drum than you can uh, uncrushed oil filters. Um, also, um, you can crush these with enough force to squeeze out all the residual oil and you can contact your local scrap metal vendor and see if they'll give you approval to put your crushed uh, used oil filters in your scrap metal bin and get rid of them as scrap metal. And of course, all the oil that you squeeze out of these oil filters can be reclaimed, recycled, reused, etc. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching. Please like. Leave a comment below for future video topics you would like me to cover. Please subscribe, ring the bell. Have a nice day.